Senator, uh, first of all, thank you for uh, honoring the wishes of the people and not taking lobbyist money. Yes. It's been reported that um, you and your wife are in the Globalist CFR, which is the Council on Foreign Relations. Um, and um, I'd like to know if that is true. And also, um, I'd like to know where you stand on the North American Union, which has been um, confirmed recently in the press. Um, Ron Paul actually spoke about it in the Congress. He's actually spent some money on it. This North American Union involves a union much like the European Union, only with Canada, Mexico, and the United States, and the possible merging of uh, the money system into uh, a piece called the Amero, uh, which would actually strip the United States of some of its sovereignty and perhaps our rights. Where do you stand on that? Well, first of all, uh, I'm, I'm not... Uh, the, the Council on Foreign Relations, uh, I don't know if I'm an official member. I, I've spoken there before. Uh, it basically is just a forum where a bunch of people talk about foreign policy. Uh, and so there's nothing, uh, there, there's no official membership. I don't have a card or, you know, <laughs> anything or anything like that. Uh, the, in terms of this North America uh, what, what, union, this has been uh, something I know Ron Paul's talked about and people have been talking about. I have to say with all due respect that I see no evidence of this actually taking place. I think this has been something that has been ginned up in certain blogs and the internet. It was based partly on the fact that there's this highway being built uh, in Texas that will facilitate more transportation and travel between Mexico uh, and the intercontinental United States on up through Canada. And so people have perceived that this potentially means that somehow there's going to be this uh, union like the European Union. There's no evidence that that's taking place. Um, that will help to break down barriers of trade between those three countries. And I was opposed to that. Because I thought that it didn't have a way to get the market. But I don't think that there's some conspiracy to create uh, this one you know, continental government between Canada and Mexico. I, I see no evidence of that. All right?